Hey, uh, I'm Daria from Ukraine. I'm 29 years old uh, and I have colon cancer. Well, I decided I should do something out of it because every challenge you are given in life means uh, you have to make any profit of it. <laughs> or in my case, you should do something good out of it. So I have decided to make this sort of a video blog um, dedicated to my struggle with cancer. Well, there is a very long and boring story of how it all started. So I will try to be short. Last year, uh, namely uh, last October 2014, I was diagnosed with adenocarcinoma, or as you all call it, colon cancer. I don't have a real idea what stage I was, but my tumor was quite huge, and our local doctors in Ukraine were, um, yes, terrified with this size, and they uh, decided to give me some radiation before they could remove it uh, in a surgical way. So I have faced 32 days of radiation, which really shrink, uh, could shrink my tumor. And then, yes, uh, miraculously, I was found cancer-free because the tumor actually disappeared. And so I was enjoying my happy life for three months as I was in this official remission. But uh, sadly, uh, three months later, uh, during my next uh, colonoscopy, yeah, uh, they found some new polyps. They called cancer again after the biopsy. So now, yes, um, I have this relapse. I am enjoying the second round of this fight with cancer. And uh, yesterday, uh, yes, I started my um, chemo called uh, Folfox. Fox 4 and before this a month ago I had my first surgery uh, this uh, colon resection together with uh, removing my uh, tumor which was not so huge compared to the first one I had last year but of course it could grow fast because it was already growing like crazy so now I seem to be cancer free I don't have any um, cancerous cells in my organs, uh, as well as my lymph nodes, uh, positive, uh, I mean, for health, it means they are not um, connected with any cancer, they are clean. And so, uh, this chemo actually means um, decreasing the risk of any new cancer appearing in my body. So that's why, uh, yes, uh, the doctors decided to give it to me because it can really give me a real freedom of cancer for the future. At least I hope so. So what do I want to make with all those videos? I don't want to scare you. I don't want to make you feel uh, wonderful about cancer. Of course, it's not a real blessing. It's not something happy. But I want you to see um, an example of how people uh, deal with this. How they... Um, Yes, leave, how they smile, how they cry and whatever. So I want to show you it's doable. I hope so. Let's see. Uh, it is my own experiment too. So uh, on the day second, um, yes, I'm feeling pretty fine. Yes, I haven't really felt any side effects by now. Of course, I may soon. I'm not really hoping I will be just all right all the time. But... You know, I'm ready to fight with this and what makes me feel better is, of course, the understanding. If I happen to feel uh, awful, what my potential um, tiny cancer cell may feel like. I hope it will be already dying then. So, I really uh, feel this way and I'm determined to win. And before I proceed, I want to make it clear, as you might have noticed that I look, um, yeah, a little bit different from all the patients and people you see around. Yes, um, I was born with a, a rare, a rare disability, or as it is called in a scientific world, a condition called arthrogryposis. What means uh, my um, four limbs uh, are affected. I have some little scoliosis, uh, clubbed feet, my um, 
legs, my knees cannot unbend, so they're in a constant bent condition, as well as uh, my elbows cannot really unbend, and I cannot uh, straight my fingers, I mean, make them um, flexible. So yeah, I have many, many interesting challenges in my life, but they never really stopped me from enjoying it, from finishing school, from, um, yes, obtaining my diploma and becoming a translator. Yet, and I'm apologizing uh, for my English because I know I do sound with some accent, but I really hope you can get uh, what I feel and what I want to tell you. Cancer can be beaten, so let's hope it will be so. Yes, I eat almost everything. Yes, uh, yesterday I even enjoyed some ice cream. Even though I was warned that very soon I may um, get this very uh, ugly side effect called, uh, yes, this called sensitivity. So I really hope, yes, I could enjoy it yesterday because today I'm not sure. Yes, I'm feeling pretty alright. No real changes, but I will let you know what will be in the future and I promise you, I will tell you all the details. And by the way, yes, I have forgotten to mention that together with the surgery, I uh, received tempor uh, temporarily uh, my ileostomy. Well, I really hope you will understand what it means. It's a kind of uh, ostomy on my uh, right um, belly part and it works as a large intestine so far but as a matter of fact it's uh, um, this little intestine a small intestine as you call it in your country i believe and it performs the functions uh, of the colon while it is resting because my surgeon um, really believed uh, i could have some complications so that's why i hope to have my uh, final reversal surgery as soon as I finish my chemo. But so far, yes, I'm dealing with this, I'm smiling, my mood is nice. Yes, I'm lucky to be in a very good hospital. Uh, the only sad point is that it is far away from my home because um, I live in Zaporizhia and it is Kyiv, where I am, our Ukrainian has, uh, capital. And it is, um, strictly speaking, it's not even Kyiv, it's a little bit further, it's a small village, so uh, yes, it is the place where my uh, hospital is, and yes, I am here, away from home, eight hours, and I really hope to come back tomorrow. I don't, I don't know really how long I, I'm going to stay here exactly, because this first cycle of camel is supposed to last for at least 44, 48 hours. And it is only um, almost 24 hours since I have been uh, enjoying this liquid. So that's all for now. Uh, yes, I will let you know about all my side effects. If I have any, well, I would like to trick myself and have no. But if I happen to, yes, to feel something strange, I will of course describe it in their uh, most colorful <laughs> Or toes, so don't worry, yes, just smile and yes, let's believe, yes, everything can be managed and yes, life will go on. So thanks for listening and watching me, I really hope I will make it to the round number 12. So, so far this is the number 1 and let's hope things will go well. Bye for now, have a great day.